Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about Zerjoff Renaissance 1861, so stay tuned for that. And if you like the content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It really helps me grow my channel and I do appreciate it a lot. Now Renaissance 1861 was released in 2011 and it has top notes of bergamot, lemon, tangerine and petite grain. The middle notes are rose, mint, and lily of the valley. And the base notes are musk, cedar, amber, and patchouli. Now in the opening of this one, I do get some nice minty green undertones that are quite enjoyable, but it's definitely dominated by the tangerine within the first few minutes for sure. It's very nice, slightly sweet, and it is very, very realistic. I really do feel like someone's juicing a tangerine or something right in front of me. Now there is certainly a fairly prominent lemon note as well, which, especially in the initial stages, does come off a little bit like lemonade. The slightly lemonade feeling comes off a little bit more like an unsweetened lemonade, so it is a little bit sour. And there is also some zesty, kind of bitter undertones from the bergamot. But all in all, there's a very strong citrus accord working in the initial stages of this fragrance comes across very, very beautifully and very, very well done. It's a very classy and high quality. Now the overall greenness does come across as being somewhat leafy and actually it's also very, very realistic at this point. I get a definite leafiness. It really does kind of feel like being surrounded by leaves because there is just this very, very realistic leafy greenness hanging out there with the citruses. So it is really enjoyable opening. I think it is very classy as well, and it is certainly citrus heavy with a nice green undertone. Now when this one dries down, the citrus is definitely softened up, so it's definitely not as citrus heavy. Although I will say that for a very long time, I do certainly detect those citruses. And especially for fragrance notes that are not really that well known for sticking around that long, these notes do linger for a very, very long time. So that enjoyable, very citrus heavy opening certainly does persist very, very long time. And it does add a very nice dimension to the dry down. However, at this time, I certainly do get a lot more of a greenness. At times I get a little bit of a woody, mossy vibe that's really quite nice. And I think it comes across as a very nice, subdued, masculine fragrance at that point. I definitely pick up more on the cedar. Um, and it definitely comes across more like a cedar log or like a cedar tree. Um, but it is certainly there and does sort of bring along this sort of woodiness with it, which is quite enjoyable. At this stage, I certainly feel like there is a little bit of push and pull between that citrus heavy opening and a more woody green dry down. So those two do at times certainly seem to be competing for the spotlight. And I do think the green woodiness eventually wins, but ultimately that Citrus does certainly keep popping its head out, certainly makes itself known, and really, really for a very long time, I pick up quite a bit of that tangerine and the lemon as well. So that citrus note certainly persists for the life of this fragrance. Longevity, this one lasts an incredibly, incredibly long time. So I get about 10 hours on my skin and will certainly last on my skin even after washing it. And it does create a nice scent cloud for about three hours I get a nice solid projection, a little bit longer than an arm's length, and it does start to die down a little bit. Certainly doesn't become a skin scent by any means, and it does produce a really nice cloud even after the, the three hour period, and it does have very nice sillage. So it's gonna leave a nice scent trail as you walk along, as you move along. It's certainly gonna be something that people can pick up on and people will definitely be able to smell this one on you. Overall, this is a really nice classy fragrance. I put it on my top list for the summer for niche fragrances for a reason. This is a very nice, well done citrus green fragrance. It's also very classy. So I think this is something you can easily wear to more formal occasions. Maybe uh, if you want to smell a little more fancy at the office, it could also work there too. Now this one is best suited for the summer and the spring, of course. Warmer weather works really well with that citrus heavy opening and the citruses that are still very present in the dry down. So I think this one is a little less versatile in the sense that it's a very classy fragrance, so it is best suited for 
uh, classy situations, formal occasions, and it is something that's more friendly to the warm weather as well. But all in all, this is a very high quality fragrance. And if you haven't got your nose on it, guys, I do recommend you go out there and check it out. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.